there was a king who ruled the kingdom with fairness and humility without luxury. He was respected and trusted by the people, and his kingdom was small but strong. One day, a king of the next country gave him a pair of ivory chopsticks, saying he respected him. He expressed his intention to refuse, but was forced to receive the gift at the king's request to accept it because it was trivial. Having used ivory chopsticks for the first time, he felt good. He thought to himself, oh, this is why kings are looking for ivory chopsticks. As he got used to the ivory chopsticks, he developed a small desire in his mind and gradually began to blow a wind of change in the royal palace. The tableware, which had been intact, changed because they did not go well with ivory chopsticks, and foods also changed to greasier ones. Next, the table changed and the clothing changed. The change did not end with that. Eventually, he poured out a lot of national treasury to build a new palace that was intact. The people's resentment touched the sky, and the king's greed also touched the sky. Finally, a splendid royal palace that no king of any country had was built. It was not until he was satisfied. However, the respect and trust for the king, which had been built on the hearts of the people, collapsed. His small but strong kingdom, which the neighboring countries feared, turned into a weak country with only a large and colorful royal palace. And after a while, it was completely destroyed by the country that presented ivory chopsticks. One greed leads to another greed, that greed leads to another one, and that greed leads to more greed. And it finally leads to defeat. The same goes for individuals, companies, and countries. We should always be wary of ourselves so that we are not blinded by vain greed.